no, I'm not going to get ahead of anything here and predict that the Penguins will... Well, yeah, they will, actually. They're going to beat the Flyers, and they're going to advance to the next round. And when they do, they're going to be facing either the Capitals or the Blue Jackets. And i got to tell you, the way that series is going, all three games into overtime, with Washington winning last night on a Lars Eller, kind of a fluky goal in front of Sergei Bobrovsky, they are beating the living tar out of each other. They're worn down, and they're only at the three-game point. Every game has been close. Every game has been physical. Every game has been tense, and they've already played the equivalent of four games in three. People around hockey will tell you that back-to-back overtime games will have a devastating effect on a team physically. Of course, both teams, especially when it's in the playoffs. But now... You're talking about three in a row. The longer that series goes, the more you take away the single greatest strength, I think, of both the Capitals and the Blue Jackets, and that being that they're big and punishing. And they're going to be a lot slower in the next round. Again, not sharing this for the purposes of making any kind of prediction or getting ahead of ourselves, but the Penguins are going to beat Philadelphia. And this does matter already. It'll matter even more in seeing which of these two goaltenders, Sergei Bobrovsky or Braden Holtby, both of whom have been psychologically wounded by the Penguins over the years, emerges for yet another wounding. I'm Dan Kovacevic. This has been DK's Daily Shot, sponsored by Schneider Downs.